Hello everyone, as I'm sure many of you are aware, um, starting on Monday, August 16th, 2010, Twitter has begun phasing out the old style login functionality whereby you could provide a username and password directly to third party web apps such as Twitter Gadget uh, and we would then log you in on, on, uh, on your behalf uh, to the Twitter API and begin using our service. Um, Twitter is deemed that insecure. People have discussed, you know, the issue of having to divulge their username past to third-party apps. So, in its place, Twitter has implemented what is commonly known of as OAuth. And what OAuth does is allows third-party web applications to, you know, view your timeline and tweet on your behalf and so on and so forth. Um, by having you authorize those applications and, th and by authorizing those applications with the sign in with Twitter button you never have to provide a username and password directly to third party apps the username and password and the auth authorization process is handled directly at the twitter.com domain so you can see I just clicked that sign in the Twitter button um, that is now on Twitter gadget and you can see we're taking over to, tw to the twitter.com domain when you come to the twitter.com domain you can then log in um, and authorize that particular app. I've already authorized in this distance, so you don't see me clicking the approve button. But authorize that particular app. We set the necessary tokens as a cookie, and allow allow you to stay logged into Twitter Gadget either for the duration of your session or if you click remember me for up to up to a week. That's all great, and and works wonderfully for those who have access to the Twitter domain in order to click the sign in with Twitter button uh, to begin that authorization process. Um, and while we recognize uh, that certainly we feel Twitter Gadget is, is, is full of, uh, has a full and robust feature set packed into a, a nice and tight compa compact space, be it I, Google, or Gmail, uh, or even standalone for that matter, um, while we recognize there's lots of benefits to Twitter Gadget, one of the pr primary benefits or additional benefits that you gained with Twitter Gadget is if uh, the Twitter.com domain, for example, happens to be blocked or inaccess inaccessible uh, at your current location, be it at work, at school, or whatever it might be. It's problematic now to use Twitter Gadget, unfortunately, in any third-party application uh, because that process requires you, uh, in all instances, as, as, as shown, to visit the Twitter.com domain to begin that authorization process. Again, by forcing all third-party apps to move to this uh, OAuth sign-in with Twitter functionality it precludes a lot of you who had used Twitter Gadget in the past from using it now. And so we began investigating and trying to figure out some ways that we could, even though we've been forced to move to this process, still enable those users to, uh, to access Twitter Gadget uh, when at locations where access to Twitter.com is restricted and thus you have no ability to log in uh, using the sign in with Twitter button. So what we've come up with is a process that we're now calling sign in with Twitter gadget. So you can see here on the Twitter gadget page, login page, you see a sign in with Twitter button. As you know, you're at a location where you can't use that button. Uh, what we allow you to do now instead is click the sign in with Twitter gadget button. So here you can see it says can't sign in with Twitter. Obviously you try this button above and it didn't work. Um, so you go ahead and say can't sign in with Twitter. Click here, sign in with your Twitter gadget account. If you go ahead and click that button, we take you to a new pop-up dialog box um, where you'll see a login screen and some, and some information. And let's go over a little bit of that information real quick before uh, uh, we actually execute the process. So what we say here is sign in with your Twitter gadget account. Well, what we say Twitter gadget account, I don't have a Twitter gadget account, precisely. So what you can do is we can read some text here. It says don't have a Twitter gadget account. A Twitter gadget account allows you to sign in using a username or password in places where you are unable to use the sign in with Twitter button because that sign in with Twitter button requires access to Twitter.com to proceed. So for more information, look at our tutorial. So if we go ahead and click our tutorial, we take you through a couple of pages. So how do you create a Twitter gadget account? Well, what happens is, is, is ultimately you always have to visit Twitter.com at least once in order to authorize our application. Without the ability to authorize our application by visiting Twitter.com at least once, you're dead in the water. We have to be able to have you go to Twitter and authorize our Twitter gadget application. So what you do, step one, 
you can see a little example here it says home sweet home what we mean by that is step one using a Twitter accessible computer so obviously you can access for example Twitter at work or at school wherever it might be firewall or WebSense so the first step is is to go somewhere where you can access Twitter and again that might be at home via your mobile smartphone wherever it might be go to that place come to Twitter gadget um, and uh, execute the sign in with Twitter process. So again, come to Twitter gadget, use a Twitter account that's accessible, go ahead, come to our page, and you see that sign in with Twitter button that we discussed or showed earlier. Again, right here, sign in with Twitter. So now you're at a you're at a location where you can click that button. You go ahead and click it and you're going to be taken to the authorization page where you sign in with Twitter and by signing in with Twitter uh, you'll be able to grant access to Twitter Gadget uh, to again uh, use our service on your behalf. So log into Twitter Gadget using the sign on Twitter button. Step three. Once you sign in you can then go to Twitter Gadget um, uh, during that session um, and actually create a Twitter Gadget account. So you see it here on this page and, and I'll actually go through it live in a second. So step four, once that's done, you can now come back to Twitter Gadget and instead of using that sign in with Twitter button, uh, you can use the sign in with Twitter Gadget button instead. Uh, so let's see that in action. Uh, we come here, sign in with Twitter. Again, I'm already logged into Twitter so I immediately get redirected. I'm already logged in as our account T-Gadget. You can see behind the scenes we close that dialog box and now we're logged in as T-Gadget. So now this is an example of, uh, of say I'm at home and I'm not at work where I'm restricted access, where I have restricted access. So now once I've logged in I need to immediately set up a Twitter Gadget account. So if you go ahead and beneath, beneath the tweet input box in the bottom right you, you know we have the options arrow. Go ahead and click that options arrow and there's a new option labeled account and you can see the dialog box that pops up underneath that or the title box that pops up underneath says create slash modify Twitter gadget, Twitter gadget account and now we have a new dialog box that says create a Twitter gadget account we're automatically going to create the username of that account as your Twitter username for the sake of ease now the password optimally should be different than your Twitter password because otherwise now you're divulging to us your username and password on Twitter and that's the whole point of sign in with Twitter is is not have to divulge that information to Twitter gadget you can certainly elect to do whatever you wish but it's recommended for security purposes to create a new uh, password unique to your Twitter gadget account so you go ahead and create that account and now we have a Twitter gadget account in addition to your Twitter account but what has happened here is in, in, by virtue of creating this Twitter gadget account we've made a database entry on our servers on your behalf with your username and Twitter gadget password you've just created as well as those access tokens and keys that Twitter supplied us during the sign in with Twitter process why that the reason that that is beneficial is is now say we've logged out of Twitter gadget and we've come back to this sign in with uh, login page for Twitter gadget but now let's say we're at work and we click that sign in with Twitter button and guess what it no longer responds because the Twitter domain is inaccessible from your location no longer an issue because now you click the, click the can't sign in with Twitter button click here you're taken to the sign in with Twitter gadget process and again now rather than going through the Twitter domain uh, to authorize and, and log into our service you are now going to use your username and password you've created for your Twitter gadget account you click sign in and voila uh, we confirm you you look behind the page and here we are logged in again uh, as, as T gadget or obviously the account you set up that entire login process uh, can be done from anywhere from any computer in any location because it no longer requires you uh, once you set up your Twitter gadget account uh, to again be routed through the Twitter domain to authorize and log yourself into Twitter gadget. It's imperative to state that to start the process off just go to any any location you can um, that does have access to twitter.com come back to Twitter gadget sign in with Twitter for that process to authorize us once you do that you can create your Twitter gadget account once that is done you can go anywhere in the world uh, and log into Twitter gadget regardless of restrictions by using your Twitter gadget account to log in instead of your sign in with Twitter account instead of using the sign in with Twitter button just say can't sign in with Twitter click here you're going to use your Twitter gadget account instead 
log in, and you're off to the races. This is a little workaround we've put in place, and it's very beneficial um, for any users where, where it's problematic to use that sign in with Twitter button. This should address that issue. The only requirement is to one time and one time only, for example, uh, use that sign in with Twitter button to get those necessary tokens and authorizations in place that we can store on your behalf securely in our database so you can use Twitter Gadget anywhere. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, certainly come back to twittergadget.com, fill out the feedback form. Glad to do our best to answer as quickly and promptly as possible. Um, and other than that, enjoy using Twitter Gadget, and uh, we'll see you next time.